Today, we will be talking about decay and decomposition problems as an application of first-order differential equations. The rate of decay or decomposition of a substance is proportional to the original amount of substance present. This first-order differential equation can be solved by separation of variables which gives us ds over s is equal to negative k times dt. Integrating both sides will give ln of s is equal to negative k times t plus c. s is equal to e raised to negative k times t plus c. S is now equal to E raised to the negative K times T times E raised to C, which can be simplified as S is equal to C times E raised to the negative K times T. We can denote this as a function of time by letting it become S of T is equal to the initial amount s sub naught times e raised to the negative k times t. We will now use this function to solve for applications. A radioactive substance is observed to have decayed 5% of its original mass after 2 years. How long will it take for the substance to decay by 10% of its original mass if its original mass is 100 milligrams? We are given the initial amount which is 100 and the amount present after 2 years which is 95. So 95 is equal to 100 times E raised to the negative 2 times K. We will now solve for K by dividing both sides by 100 which gives us 19 over 20 is equal to E raised to the negative 2 times K. So K is equal to negative one half times the ln of 19 over 20. We will now solve for t wherein the amount present will be 90. So 90 is equal to the initial amount 100 times e raised to the negative k times t which becomes t over 2 times the ln of 19 over 20. Simplifying will give us 9 over 10 is equal to 19 over 20 raised to t over 2. So t over 2 is equal to the logarithm of 9 over 10 with base 19 over 20. So t is equal to 2 times the logarithm of 9 over 10 with base 19 over 20. So the answer is 4.5. Eleven years. Now for our second example. 
find the half-life of a radioactive substance if three-fourth of it is, is present after 10 hours. We know that at S of 10, we have three-fourth of our initial amount. So we write 3 over 4 times the initial amount is equal to the initial amount times E raised to 10 times K, wherein K is negative. Now we can cancel the initial amount from both sides, which gives us 3 over 4 is equal to E raised to the negative 10 K, which we can simplify to be negative 10 K is equal to the ln of 3 over 4. So K is equal to negative 1 over 10 times the ln of 3 over 4. We are to find S of T wherein we have one half the amount of the initial substance. So one half times S of naught is equal to the initial amount times E raised to negative K times t which gives us t over 10 times the ln of 3 over 4. So 1 half is equal to e raised to t over 10 times the ln of 3 over 4. We can reduce this as 1 half is equal to 3 over 4 raised to t over 10. So t over 10 is equal to the logarithm of 1 half base 3 over 4. So t is equal to 10 times the logarithm of 1 half base 3 over 4 which is equal to 24.09 hours or 24 hours and 54 minutes. For our third and last example, half of the original amount of a material was recovered after 1,600 years. What percentage of the material was lost to decay in 100 years? We know that at 1,600 years, we have half of the initial amount present. So, one half times the initial amount present is equal to the initial amount present times E raised to the negative 1,600 times K. So, one half is equal to E raised to the negative 1,600 times K. So, K is equal to negative 1,600 negative 1 over 1,600 times the ln of 1 half. We are to find S of 100 which is equal to the initial amount times E raised to K times t and is negative so we have 100 divided by 1600 times the ln 
of one half. So S of one hundred is equal to the initial amount times E raised to one over sixteen times the ln of one half. So S of one hundred is now equal to one half raised to one over sixteen times the initial amount. So at one hundred years, the amount present is ninety six percent. We are asked what percentage of the material was lost to decay. So four percent is lost to decay after 100 years.